In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect VS Code, Visual Studio Code, to GitHub so that it can uh, commit changes directly from the Visual Studio Code interface. So once you've made your changes in VS Code, you can just go to this source control option on the left-hand menu and commit your changes directly from here just by clicking a button. So I've made some step-by-step -step instructions on this PowerPoint slide and I'll put this on my GitHub. Um, so you can just go to my GitHub, I'll link it in the description and you can use this as a reference um, and you can just follow through the instructions yourself. Uh, but I'm going to take you through it step by step. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually initiate the GitHub repository. So go to GitHub, uh, I'm going to click new um, and then just set up the repository. So for this example, I'm just going to call it test proj. Uh, we'll make it public and we'll add a readme file and click create repository. Uh, and then once you've created the repository, you want to go to this code tab and copy under the SSH, you want to copy this. Um, if you haven't got SSH set up, then you can always use HTTPS, um, either or. Uh, we're basically just going to use this to clone our project. So on Windows, open a command line and go into a folder where you want the, the GitHub repo to, to be stored. So for me, I'll go into documents and I'm just going to clone the GitHub repository here. So to clone the GitHub repository, you go git clone and then paste the SSH or HTTPS uh, string. Okay, that's done. So next thing you want to do is go back into your home directory. So for me, that's this. And I'm just going to quickly list the files that are in here. So there should be a .ssh folder. So this is by default in, in your home directory. And you want to go into that folder. OK, let's just list the files in here. OK, so in here is where we store uh, public and private key pairs. This will allow us to connect VS Code to GitHub um, and allow us to make changes without needing a password every time. So as you can see in here, we've got file pairs. So for example, at the top here, these two, these represent a private key and public key. Public key has the .pub extension. So we want to create a public and private key for our new repository. So on the command line, you want to type ssh-keygen space dash o. And it'll ask us what we want to name these files. So what I normally do is just name them after the GitHub repository name. In, in our case, it's test proj, so. Um, and, and the default is to have this id underscore rsa at the end. So what I'm going to do actually is just add that on the end of the file. So you want to click enter and it'll ask us to enter a passphrase. Uh, we don't want to enter a passphrase, so we're just going to click enter twice. The reason we don't want to enter a passphrase is because every time we make a, a commit to the GitHub repo, we don't want to be uh, putting in a passphrase because that will just because that slows things down and makes things less efficient. So now what I'm going to do is just list the files again that are in here and we should see the test proj, two test proj files that have been created, one private key and one public key. So we want to print out the public key. To, to do that on Windows, you just do type and then the file name and it prints out the public key for us. We're going to copy and paste this into GitHub. So select it, copy, go back to GitHub. Uh, in the top right, we're going to go to settings, and then go down to SSH and GPG keys, new SSH key. Uh, in the box here, you can paste the public key. And the title, I normally just name it after the, the GitHub repository, so in our case, we called it test proj, so I'm going to put test proj here. And then we click add SSH key. And now if we scroll down to the bottom, we should see that key has just been added. Great. So now what we're going to do is go back to the command line. And in this folder, this uh, SSH folder, there's a file called config. We now want to edit this config file. So to do that on Windows, you type 
notepad config. It should bring up this file. We're just going to scroll to the bottom. And so here you're going to want to open the PowerPoint slides that are on my GitHub. Again, they're linked in the description. Um, we basically want to copy this part here. So paste it into this text file. So you're going to want to make a couple of edits to this. Where I've put test proj, you're going to want to change it to your repository name. And then the second change you're going to want to make is this one here. This is the path to the private key. So for me, that's in my home directory and then into the SSH directory. And then it's uh, test proj underscore ID underscore RSA. So you're going to change this to the path to your private key. So it's just those two changes. This is the title of the GitHub repo and the path here. Once you've done that, you want to click save and you can exit out of this text file. Okay, now there's just one last step we need to do. We need to go back into the folder where the GitHub repo was cloned. So for me, that was in my documents folder. Let's just check it's in here. Test proj, yep, it's there. You actually want to go into the into the folder itself. And if I just list the contents, we see we've just got a README file in there currently. So there's just one more thing we need to write into the terminal here. Um, and if we go to the PowerPoint slides again, it takes this structure. So you want to do git remote set URL origin git at GitHub dash. You want to change this for your GitHub repo name. Then we have colon, and then we have your GitHub username, forward slash GitHub repo name dot git. So there's three bits you need to change. You need to change the GitHub repo name here, your GitHub username, and the GitHub repo name at the end here as well. So I'm going to paste this into the command line here. And we are done. So now let's just test this has worked. So you want to open VS Code and open the folder where you clone the GitHub repository. So as you can see, we've just got the readme file in here at the moment. But what we're going to do is just going to create, let's just create a text file for now. So let's just do Let's call it test.txt and then here we're going to write this is a test. We're going to save it and if you go to this uh, source control icon in the left hand menu, this is where we commit our changes. So in this box you're going to, going to want to write a commit message. So I'm just going to write first commit from VS Code, click, click, click commit. And then finally click sync changes. So that's basically pushing our changes to GitHub. So that's done. Um, we're gonna go back to GitHub and just check its work. So go to your repositories, go to test proj. And as we can see updated 21 seconds ago, we've got this text file. This is a test. So that's pretty much how you connect GitHub to VS Code so that you can easily push changes to GitHub from the VS Code interface. Again, I've provided the step-by-step uh, -step instructions on a PowerPoint slide, uh, which you can access from my GitHub. I'll link my GitHub in the description. So on that note, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.